Residents of Stanley Town in New Amsterdam distributed corn keys on Saturday, August 1, as part of Emancipation Day celebrations. Renata Court reports. In commemoration of 182 years of emancipation from slavery, residents of Stanley Town on July 31st prepared the African dish commonly known as conky, which is usually made with coconut milk and cornmeal as its staple ingredients. Sharing more details, community activist Mr. Eli Hazel, who also spearheaded the project, made these remarks. First of all, I did my mix, I grate some coconuts, and then I go and I pick my plantain leaf. And you see at the end there, the, the conky is finished. Mr. Hazel also shared some key ingredients that are needed to make conky. Making conky is, you have to get cornmeal, you got to get coconut milk, you got to get some essence, you got spice and clove, and, and in order to make it, if you want, you could put in raisins in it, because you need it to be relishable. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Mr. Hazel noted that a grand celebration could not be hosted. However, they found a new way to observe the day. Emancipation Day, people always try to do something in order to make people happy. But what you see happen in Stanley Town on that day, Nobody prepared, thought about doing anything before, but it's on the day of the first, uh, we all came together and we say as, as Freedom Day, we got to do something of, for African, some African something, cook something and we could give it to people. And what we did, we, give, we stopped motor cars on the road and we give it to them and when everybody pass, passing on the road, we give it to them to ensure that Everybody understand what is the importance of freedom. Freedom is something of, you could do what you gotta do, but you gotta be accepted by giving things to people. On Saturday, August 1st, Mr. Eli Hazel, along with other residents of Stanley Town, distributed the conkeys that were made. Apart from the distribution of African dishes, Hazel also embarked on what he calls a slave run. Being a slave, you'd be incarcerated all the time. And when you become free, you gotta do a little bit of running to ensure that your body is physically fit. He also mentioned. And in the evening of the first, uh, my very good friends Stay and John, we did some giveaway at La Forte Stanley Town. We gave away some African food. Uh, you know, shine rice and, and uh, fried salt fish. So hopefully uh, uh, next year it should be better. Reporting for Channel 8 News, Renata Kurt.